I have three words to describe what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> they start with E A G and they would be excited, apprehensive, and above all, guilt. I'm excited because in here is a semi quasi wish list orchid that I've wanted for a long, long time. I have also refused it from generous anonymous donors who wanted to gift it to me. And then I'm apprehensive because, you know, it's like Forrest Gump said buying orchids is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get, referring to the quality or the lack thereof. <laughs> and then guilty because I had buyer's remorse 12 hours later and I thought, what have you done? Why? Why did you get so weak? Timestamps are in the description because I will tell you why I had a moment of weakness right at the end of the video. And without further ado, I've already opened the box because, you know, acclimating into my climate. <laughs> Let's get into it. Literally. Of course, I have a slightly breezy day and I've got shredded paper. Okay, we'll just get over this part. I'll be back when I've somewhat secured the shredded paper. Alrighty, oh, there's a heat pack. Okay, so these orchids came from Italy, from Giulio, and I'll put the name of the nursery up on the screen, but I couldn't say no to the heat pack, even though I don't like heat packs as a general rule. Sorry for that noise. It was just something that I couldn't opt out of. It's still a little bit warm, which is wonderful because my hands are so cold. Like I said, apprehensive, nervous, excited. Uh, so my body temperature has sunk. <laughs> Alrighty, now I in here have, I'll just give it away. I have a semi wish list orchid, but I had had enough. And well, I'll get to that once we've inspected them. And then I have the orchid that I've always, always wanted, but have always refused to like buy from a nursery that I don't support anymore, but as a hybrid. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's get you out. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't want to just barge in here, you know, but I do want to barge in here. <sighs> I got my Dendrobium Municificum from this nursery as well and my Cattleya Intermedia. And then I got an orchid from them that didn't make it. The Moscom, yes, Cattleya Moscom. But that's not because of the lack of the quality of their orchids. It's because I just couldn't get the temperature right, not enough light anymore, etc. Did I just break a spike? I wasn't expecting it to come and spike. No, that's an old break, but here, oh my goodness, I don't know if we're going to see any blooms, but that's nice. She is blooming size as per what I saw. And this is my Lelia rubescence. Lelia rubescence in the house. <laughs> uh, oh no, oh no. Okay, you're bigger than I thought you were, right. She has an official name. And while the honking is going on in the background, I am going to get that official name and tell you what her real name is. Her real name is Lelia Joyce Hilton, and she is a cross between Lelia Rubescence, which is a wish list orchid of mine since Yonks. Love the pink blooms on Lelia Rubescence, but she is a hybrid and a cross with Bretonia Negrilensis. Both of them, both of these species, well, primary hybrid now, but both the parents have super long spikes, something I like to avoid in my collection because dingaling is a little clumsy here. Having said that, I'm also going to tell you why I'm okay with these having long spikes. So just bear with me while we get actually <laughs> the Lelia rubescence out, but she is the Alba form, which I didn't want. I promise you I didn't want her in Alba form. And that is why I got the hybrid with the Bretonia because I did want something that resembles a pink bloom, which the actual red Lelia, wait a minute. No. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He sent me the rubescence. 
I cannot believe it. I wonder if I should send him that one back because I, I only bought this one here because I wanted a pink bloom. I can hardly breathe. Slow down, slow down. Oh my word. Oh my word. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Happy dance. Cartwheels around the patio. I just can't. I'm so excited. Do you know I've been wanting this orchid for four years? Oh, I can't. I just can't. Okay. All right. While I'm at it and I remember because now my brain has just gone completely tilt. I'm going to tell you now what happened and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do with them now that they've arrived in the state they've arrived and why I'm going to do what I'm going to do with them because of the state that they've arrived in. Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> Black Friday. I have canceled all my newsletters from all the nurseries I was subscribed to because obviously I can't afford to buy orchids and I said no more orchid gifts, etc. I have enough to deal with with the collection trying to get them through the winter and blah de blah de blah. So, Julio <laughs> doesn't send regular newsletters. He doesn't inundate you with his updates and newsletters, which is really nice. So, you can tell that it's been a long time since I got a letter from Julio. Anyway, Black Friday, he sends out, you know, his promotion for Black Friday. And I thought, huh, snoop de doop why not have a look at it? I couldn't believe it. On the first page of that Black Friday, well, offer with discount and everything was a Lelia Rubescence. And I quickly clicked out. I promise you, I clicked out of that webpage as fast as I had clicked on it and walked away and then percolate, percolate. My brain just percolated. I'm so close, so close. It's just over the, you know, yonder here from Spain where I'm at. And then I thought, okay, five days later, I'm going, I'm going back in. And of course there was a time limit for the Black Friday sale. <laughs> yeah, I went confidently into that webpage because I had passed the time frame. <laughs> and I went in and uh, sure enough, she was gone. I don't know why my brain snapped, I don't know why I stopped being focused on, you know, that's fine. She's gone. They don't have any more. And then I just went and purchased the variety Alba. I just thought, okay, I don't, I, I cannot explain it. I just went poof. My mind went blank. There was a fog. I snapped. And then I sent him an email because I don't want orchids in boxes for too long, even though we're in, within the European community. But Julio always sends so quickly. However, in December, first week of December, Spain has two public holidays within the same week. So the 6th and the 8th is a public holiday in Spain. You can imagine a quick shipping can be organized, but with the public holidays, it was risky. So I sent him an email, said hello, and I told him, look, please hold this shipment until the 11th of December because I explained to him why and he confirmed back anyway anyway in that email I wanted to explain to him as well why I needed him to you know why I purchased these orchids at this point in time because he doesn't have an option where you can say hold reserve pay up front whatever you can't you have to buy them out right and I told him that I actually wanted the Lelia Rubescence and I saw that she had gone and for that reason I purchased the Alba would he just hold the shipment? I, I don't know if I'm explaining myself correctly because I'm just like nuts in my brain. I'm snapping all over again. So he knew by my email, I actually wanted the rubescence. They weren't listed anymore. I ordered the Alba and he put a rubescence into the box. I just can't, I can't. I've got tears of joy. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, I'm still cold, but I'm starting to warm up nicely. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of this mess. I'm going to also unwrap my hybrid, which I actually now don't really need, but okay. <laughs> kissy, kissy, kissy. Right, I'll be right back. Spike. <laughs> oh, and just to show you, I didn't break it. That's an old break. Spike. No promises that she'll make it though, but why not subscribe to the channel anyway? And for Julia's sake and Lelia Rubescent's sake, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so, so much. And these are the parents. So you see, <laughs> now I just happen to have two orchids that are very, very similar. 
probably in the bloom because the Bretonnia nigrilensis is sort of a whitish bloom with a very predominant lip which is carried over into this primary hybrid. Also very long spikes, but she is a warm grower. Whereas my rubescence, or let's say the other parent in here, is a cool to warm grower. So this one will probably not tolerate the temperatures in my winters as much as this one. <laughs> so anyway, never mind. Beautiful blooms, beautiful blooms. Now that I've got two that are going to look pretty similar with pink blooms. I just can't. I just can't. At least I hope. Anyway, it doesn't really matter anymore. The apprehension is gone because the orchids are beautiful. He's a little bit pricey, I would say. <laughs> Well, anything, it's all relative really, isn't it? But I would say he's a bit pricey, but when your orchids come in good condition, then I would say that, that, that that's worth it, in my opinion. Very, very dry, which is good. It's fine, but I am going to give them some water. Water with CalMag only, because I did not know what state they would arrive in. And I don't want to trigger any hormones producing any active growth when they're not supposed to. And a spike will do just nicely with CalMag. So we'll do that. Just give them a little bit of a soak. And this one, <laughs> There's no new growth coming, but I'm not concerned. So of course I want it off the mount. But during the winter season, it is absolutely fine on the mount because yes, I may bring it inside for the first month or so. We'll see how things go. I'm not gonna expose her to the cold temperatures. That's too much of a shock in my opinion. So yeah, we've got another mount to deal with, but obviously once she acclimates, starts a new growth, and also produces new roots, I have a root tip here, but the other ones look to be on their way out. So I'm not going to say that this one is in active growth by any stretch of the imagination. It's not repot time for this one. So we'll keep it on a mount, but she can't stay on a mount as a permanent feature. Not here. She would be a very similar culture to my Rapiculus lalias that can live outside all year round. Now both of these orchids, when their pseudobulbs shrivel a little bit, that's when you can give them water during the winter. Usually they should be very, very dry, but not in my case. We are going to be putting these into a Rapiculus lalia setup eventually. Watch this space, like I said. Subscribing at this point in time is not such a bad idea. <laughs> But the Bretonnia here will have to come indoors during my winters. She is not going to tolerate all the temperatures that the species rubescence can handle, which is not a problem. I have lost a lot of orchids in the past summer due to extreme high humidity. So there is some room in the inn, especially for something that's going to be as gorgeous as this. Okay, note to self. She is not pot bound, she's loose in the pot. Anyway, my CalMag is at 300 parts per million. Not intentionally, I would have preferred 150. I went a little bit overboard. Hakuna Matata, it's fine as a welcome cocktail. I don't like to go so high until I don't see the orchids, but I was just a little heavy handed. I wasn't gonna switch it around, but, but, the pH is 6.7 because obviously I was anticipating these orchids to come in organic media. I was not expecting a mount. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> and the organic media usually by this time is pretty broken down. And for that reason, I have upped the pH so that the cow mag will actually be absorbed and not locked out. I am thrilled. I still have buyer's remorse. I still feel guilty about this. This is not something that I should have indulged in at all, but oh my goodness, I cannot be more grateful to Julio for actually thinking, you know what, I have a rubescence, which I now hope is a rubescence. Otherwise, all this giddiness and excitement was for naught. But he is also not known for mislabeling his orchids. Otherwise, this would read rubescence variety Alba as what I had ordered. We shall see. Who cares? For now, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I'm so looking forward to see if this spike is going to make it. I have my doubts, but anyway, have yourself a beautiful day on that one condition though, please that you stay safe. Take care, bye.